This is 2014 AMC 12B problem 17. Let P be the parabola with equation y equals to x squared and Q be 2014. There are real numbers R and S such that the line through Q with slope M does not intersect P if and only if R is less than M which is less than S. What is R plus S? So let's think about this. Let's draw our parabola y equals to x squared which goes which goes like this, if I can draw it, that's reasonable. So it goes like this. And our point is 2014. And for our parabola, when we plug 20 in, we get 400 or 20 squared. So 14 is going to be below the parabola. So our point, let me actually draw it here-ish, is going to be like this. And now let's think about what the question is saying. Do we want to draw a line? through this point that does not intersect the parabola. So in this case, this line does not meet the requirement. So we want our line to be something like this. We want our line to be something like this, something like this, going through the point, not touching the parabola. Now, what, what slope, what slope of the line uh, satisfy the requirement? What can the slope of the line be for us to not intersect this, this parabola? And if you think about this, you can draw a tangent line through the parabola. You can draw two tangent lines, one and two. It's not perfect, but you should have, you should get two tangent lines with starting at this point and going to the parabola. And what you may realize is every slope in between the slope of these two slopes are what we are trying to find. Because the reason is, if the slope is higher than this tangent line, we are going to intersect the parabola right here. And if the slope is if the slope is lower than lower than this line, lower than this line, then you're going to intersect the parabola like this. So we want our slope to be right in between these two lines. So that's that's the starting point for this question. So we want to find the slope of the tangent lines because they are going to be R and S. The slope of the tangent line that goes through the point 2014 touching the parabola and there's going to be two lines, one with slope R and one with slope S, and those are what we want to find, and we want to find eventually R plus S. So let's do it. And how I'm going to do it, I'm going to use calculus. I'm going to use calculus to do it, but you don't have to use calculus. You can set the equation up using point slope form or slope intercept form, and use the fact that discriminant has to be less than zero for there to be no real solution between the line and the parabola. But in, in our case, I'm just going to use calculus just for the sake of it. So let's say, let's say the tangent, the point of tangency is x, x squared. It lies on the parabola, so it's going, to, so the y value is going to be x squared. And the slope, the slope of the line through 2014 and this point is going to be 14 minus x squared divided by 20 minus x. And you want this thing to equal to the tangent line, the slope of tangent line of the parabola at x using calculus, that's 2x differentiating x squared. So let's, let's evaluate this. You, you have 14 minus x squared is multiplying by 20 minus x. 40x minus 2x squared and rearranging the terms gets you x squared minus 40x plus 14 is zero. Now, what are the solutions of these equations? Solutions of these equations are the x coordinates at which our supposed tangent lines intersect the parabola. But we don't want to find we don't want to find x coordinates. We want to find the slope. We want to find the slope. And for x squared, you know the slope is going to be 2x. So let's say the solutions to this equation are a and b. Then we want to find, we wish to find 2a plus 2b, so this thing is going to be our solution, or 2 times a plus b. So all we need is to find the sum of the roots of this equation, and that's going to be 40. And why is it 40? Well, let's think about let's think about this. You can either use Vieta that gets you the answer right away, or you can think about this equation being written as x minus a times x minus b because a and b are the roots of the equation, which gets you x squared minus a plus b x plus a b. And we want to find a plus b. So negative 40 has to be negative a plus b. So a plus b is going to be 40. So, uh, whichever way you do it, you get the answer. You can use quadratic formula to find a and b, of course, then, then use the slope. Make sure you multiply by 2. And 
the answer is going to be 80. So which one is it? The answer is E. Realize that if you do not multiply by 2 to get the slope, you are going to get C, which is not the right answer.